Alright, hello and welcome to another adventure with Traveling Iron Man. Uh, today we are doing some more of our PA History Series. And today we are in Grand Park here in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. And this is very unique in that it is the only surviving residence of a colonial uh, Pennsylvania governor. Uh, governor Keith was appointed Pennsylvania in 1717. Um, so he was governor before, you know, Pennsylvania became a state. Uh, he was appointed by William Penn. We'll get into more of that in, in a little bit. Um, and he lived here for about, you know, six, six seven years. So, uh, fascinating history. I'll tell you a little bit about, uh, about the history here. We'll walk around the house, we'll walk around the grounds, and uh, fascinating P Pennsylvania history. All right, so they have a nice little visitor center in here, museum. Um, you can go in there, get your historical stuff in there. Um, it's $8 to tour the house. So that there is the house of the colonial house of Governor uh, William Keith, uh, what's the name of the governor, who uh, stayed there. All right, so William Keith, I said, was the governor here of Pennsylvania from 1717 until 1726. And he was appointed by William Penn for a um, number of reasons. A number of reasons. The main reason is that there were uh, pirates were down in Philadelphia, which is about 15 miles south of here. And he was... Uh, one of the most famous pirates there was Edward Teach. Uh, you might know him as, as Blackbeard. So he was down in Philadelphia, like rooting and causing all sorts of problems down there. So one of the reasons why Keith was appointed is to um, get uh, get uh, Blackbeard and the other pirates out of nearby Philadelphia. And he succeeded in doing that. He was he took a hardline stance on that. And eventually they retreated to North Carolina, where of course Blackbeard was killed and beheaded. Um, but um, so that was um, one of the reasons why he was appointed and he was successful. So let's go into a little bit more history and then we'll go explore the house. All right, so I mentioned in 1726, so he served, so William Keith served here from 1717 to 1726, and in 1726, he was actually fired by uh, William Penn um, because he was very, uh, Keith was very egalitarian in his beliefs, so they, he did not agree, uh, he opposed Penn in almost every which way, um, so of course Penn didn't like that, and Penn being the owner of this, uh, this parcel of land here, um, he fired him. In 1726 so then Keith went back to England and it was later bought by Keith's son-in-law uh, Dr. Graham who the park is named for um, and he's the one that he, he did a lot of uh, he did a lot of different um, he, he, he did some improvements to the house he put up uh, like wood paneling and that stuff like that so but the inside of the house has remained relatively uh, the same since the 1760s. So it's a very good, it gives us a very good idea of what life was like in colonial uh, Pennsylvania. So, um, and then upon Keith, and then once uh, Dr. Graham passed, he passed it to his youngest daughter, Elizabeth. And she was very well educated and very, uh, she was one of the most influential women of her time. Um, but back then, of course, women didn't have, uh, no property rights, um, or anything like that. So, she was later branded a traitor, um, because her husband worked for, her husband served in the British uh, Army, and, um, a lot of her family members didn't agree with, you know, her role in independence. It's a fascinating history here, too much for this video, um, but that's just a brief history. And then this is brought by uh, the Pennsylvania Historical Society, um, who maintains this property. So let's go inside the house and let's take a look, uh, look inside of some of the most, um, 
some of the most interesting part of the Pennsylvania life. Bridge just walked across. Plus that is the business center right there. Of course, the first thing you notice is very similar to Pensbury Manor, um, where I was at uh, this past um, uh, this past summer. Um, but Pens Pensbury Manor is made out of brick, and you can see this is uh, stonework. Um, so that's the one. That's the one. The main. Uh, the color scheme is about the same. You can see it was built, and you can see there it was built in 1752 is when this house was built. So, and it's been relatively unchanged since uh, colonial times, which uh, which makes it very very interesting to tour.
slope on the upper slope, but it's, I mean, we're three stories and it's another full story up there. So those, uh, that'll be the attic up there then, kind of? Um, to the right, there's a little attic space, but where you see the light coming through, that's outside. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Because of the, at the time, because of the remoteness of this area, it was away from a lot of you know, cities and people with population. Um, there were slaves there. There were slaves and indentured servants. Um, Fourteen, go, uh, Governor Keith had, um, and many more indentured servants who were uh, immigrants uh, coming here, um, you know, doing work and for a, for a specified amount of time. And then once that time was was over, then uh, they could leave. So uh, that wasn't always the case. Um, but uh, yeah, contrary to popular use, there was there was slavery here in Pennsylvania, and it was not a not, 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 not much more prevalent here than in uh, the Keith uh, the Keith Mansion in, in the kitchen and and in the uh, and in the main house. Um, he had uh, many many. Uh, People help him, you know, help him out. Just do do household chores around the house. So, uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a history of this place. We're going to move on down to the Hope Lodge. Um, tell you a little bit about that, and uh, we'll see what we, we can cover here. So, come along. Now, that'll wrap up here for uh, the Keith House here at Grand Park Mansion, and we'll see you in the next adventure.